Jack is six. Looking at him, you would never know he's being treated for leukemia. Although he's still receiving chemotherapy, Jack is now in remission, back at school and doing really well. Jack is phenomenal. That's the, the only thing I can say. I mean, I, I could never have imagined before, before this all happened to us what it would be like. But I have to say, I think he's, he's actually come through at the moment and he's just an, an inspiration, I think, to a lot of people. Thanks to the minimal residual disease, or MRD, test, doctors were able to tailor Jack's treatment, giving him just what he needed, but sparing him some of the side effects of intensive chemotherapy. When you're treating children, the most important thing is to do as little harm as possible. Chemotherapy does have side effects, and those are both in the short term and just as importantly in the long term. So anything that allows us to get the same cure rates but reduce the toxicity of our treatment has to be a good thing. Leukemia is the most common form of cancer in children. Every week, 10 children in the UK are diagnosed with leukemia, a cancer of the blood. Most children with leukemia have a type called acute lymphoblastic leukemia, or ALL. The only way to tell if children are responding to the drugs is to measure the number of leukemia cells in their blood after treatment. As recently as 10 years ago, this was done by looking down a microscope but this is very unreliable. The MRD test is 100 times more sensitive than that. The results of the test show how well the child has responded to treatment. Clinicians will send us a new bone marrow sample on each child after 28 days of therapy. And with this machine, which is like a molecular photocopier, we then quantify the amount of residual disease that is present in each patient. If at the end of the first month of treatment, the MRD level is low or negative, then most of those children will be cured, probably more than 95%, and that's the group of children that we and others are beginning to be able to show can have their treatment reduced. We've taken the test from very much a research standpoint to now where it's, it's part of the clinical decision-making for all of the children in the UK who have childhood ALM. The MRD test has been so successful that it has been adopted by the NHS as standard treatment for all children with ALL. The ultimate goal for us, of course, is to cure every child with ALL. What we're doing now is using MRD, combined with our other understanding of the biology of leukemia, to find out who those children are, to start to try and develop new treatments for them. We'll be eternally grateful for the work carried out by Leukemia Research. Without the research they've done into leukemia and the MRD test, we don't know if Jack would even be with us here today. Thankfully he is and the MRD test showed him to be low risk so he only had to receive the minimum amount of treatment necessary to put him into remission. Is there anything you want to say? <laughs>